So here's the thing. You just bought a really expensive mic, and you're just not sure if it's worth it to pay $100 or more for a boom arm. I mean, you know, they look nice and stuff, but why not get one of these cheap spring things on Amazon? I mean, they hold a mic up, right? That's all you really need. And maybe they bundled it with a pop screen and some other accessories that don't work with the mic that you just bought, but hey, added value? Well, today I'm gonna compare the $20 spring arm to something you can get for a hundred dollars. And we're gonna see if a boom arm is something that you need to spend a few more dollars on, or not. So first, let's start with the $20 spring arm, starting from the bottom up. So first, you have this little bracket on the bottom that tightens down to your desk. Now it's worth noting that everything on the cheaper spring arm is going to work via friction. So for any adjustment, you're going to be tightening down a screw that's going to push against the other material. That kind of goes without saying for this part, that screws down to your desk. It's just a cheap metal bracket with a thin piece of foam on the top that clamps down. And for a strike against the cheap uh, spring arm, um, yeah, the, the little ball on the end there just completely broke off one day and uh, I had to rubber band it together so I could actually tighten and loosen uh, the bracket. So, um, yeah, not great. Next up is how the spring arm actually goes into this bracket. Again, it just kind of loosely fits in there, and, um, yeah, if you don't tighten this down all the way, then it just kind of pops out. Um, if you're just messing with the mic and you accidentally lift up too much on it, yeah, not, not great. But then if you do tighten this down all the way, then you lose any ability to swivel the entire arm. And I gotta be honest, that's pretty annoying. Next up, as we move up the arm, you have, again, friction adjustments with these plastic thumb screws. So whenever you want to move the mic around, if it's not the perfect weight to kind of counterbalance the springs on this thing, you have to adjust your mic and then clamp down on one of these adjustments. There's one in the middle, and then there's one on the end for the position of the actual mic. Now besides the ball on the bottom bracket, these are definitely the next thing I expect to break. They just feel pretty dang cheap. Also, I wouldn't be surprised if the threading itself gets stripped. Um, it's just really cheap molded plastic. All right, so you've seen the fairly disappointing uh, mic boom. Let's look at what you can get for a hundred dollars. This is the Joby Wavo boom arm and just FYI this video is not sponsored by uh, Joby but I did request this because I was so freaking disappointed in that stupid spring boom arm that I wanted to show you what you can get for a hundred dollars and just how much of a difference it actually makes. Okay, so for starters, when you're clamping this onto your desk, it uses rubber uh, against your desk instead of cheap foam that's eventually gonna just tear and degrade. So you just pop it on like so and tighten it down. And as you may have already noticed, there is a handy dandy cup holder and a headphone rest. Next, the arm has a pretty big uh, metal shank that goes into a plastic sleeve to make it nice and smooth rotating. If you do want to adjust it or tighten it down completely, there is an adjustment for that. Next, there is a ball mount for the microphone, so that's a pretty nice feature. You can position it in any direction. And as far as the threading itself goes, you can see the threading is pretty big on my mic. So the boom arm actually comes with several different adapters that you can use to mount it to the boom arm. Everything is very straightforward and looks super clean. Now, if your mic is super heavy or you have a bunch of accessories attached to it, you can adjust the tension to keep it from drooping. And it has this nice magnetic plate to cover up those adjustment screws. Now, another huge issue with the $20 boom arm is that there's no real cable management. The cable's just kind of hanging out and 
The only thing you can really do is secure it with some cable ties. Now with the Joby, the cable can actually go inside this groove on the arm, and then there's an insert. They come with red and black inserts depending on what look you want, and it just slides right over the cable to hold it in place. The same is true for the bottom of the arm. Now the only problem I thought I might run into is the cable getting stuck in the arm and not being able to adjust very easily, but I found it was actually fine. I didn't have any trouble making adjustments at all. So overall, very happy with this boom arm. It's sleek, it's functional, and is relatively high quality, and I don't feel like it's gonna break in a month like the $20 version. So there you have it. It's definitely one of those cases where you get what you pay for. I originally bought that uh, spring arm off of Amazon just because I was in that same boat where I had a mic, didn't really want to pay a lot for a boom arm because, well, it probably wasn't going to be in any of my shots. I don't do a lot of streaming, so I didn't think it was going to be a big deal. But turns out it was more of a hassle than it was worth. So I definitely recommend looking for a boom arm that's a little more expensive, that has a nice look. Definitely get something that has good cable management. And again, I'm not here saying you have to get the Joby Wavo boom arm. But from my experience, it is a solid option with some great features. Again, it has that cable management. If you're a streamer of any kind, having that headphone rest and the cup holder is really nice. I mean, even if you're not a streamer, it's a really nice feature to have on your desk if you don't have anything like that already. So with that, I'll put links in the description below if you want to check out the Joby Wavo. Anytime you use one of my links to make a purchase, it helps support the channel. So with that, Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.